Alright, hello, we're back with world news with me, your boy, and Caitlin Fye. Why don't I know your boy? Your boy, Caitlin yeah. Fye. <laughs> this week on world news, we are going to be talking about Prince Harry and the fact that he's getting married to his new fiancé. Well, I don't think he had a fiancé before, but his... Well, anyway, so Prince Harry is getting married to Meghan Markle. They got engaged. That's pretty big in the UK. It's really been going around. So recently, as of three hours ago, because I just checked my trending Twitter feed, Trump uh, sparked some backlash after sharing anti-Muslim videos. He hit that retweet too soon. Anyway. <laughs> also, there's this volcano in Bali that's uh, gonna erupt. Uh, citizens are recommended to evacuate, and they started the, the volcano started erupting last Saturday, spewing ash all over the local areas. Hey, scoot over a little bit. Alright, so on a national news uh, level, recently uh, Trump got some uh, backlash for making a racist comment uh, about a person on his board who he calls Pocahontas during uh, a Native American veteran honoring. Yeah. And well, brand new. As we talked in last week, Matt Lauer <laughs> had interviewed uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Mike. Matt Lauer had interviewed Joe Biden. So, update on Matt Lauer, he's fired now. You won't see him be interviewing any other ex-vice presidents. Specifically fired for sexual harassment in the workplace, comma, also... Yeah. So, down to a local level, the Keystone XL oil pipeline has been a, through Nebraska has been approved. It's controversial because it is above one of our biggest like aquifers, which is the Ogallala. Like it's like a res it's like beneath the soil and everything. Like it's deep under Nebraska, and so if the pipeline breaks, it can potentially just ruin the aquifer, and that is like our resource for like much of the fresh water yeah, like Americans use, and even Canadians. I think. I think it's something like forty percent or like almost half. Yeah. Of, like the water in our nation comes from the aquifer. Yeah. LB West FBLA is hosting a dodgeball tournament for a fundraiser for March of Dimes. Uh, teams are needed. The money is due Friday. It'll be five dollars per person. So forty that'll be forty dollars per team for eight people on a team. And it'll be two dollars if you'd like to watch. Sign up. Yes. It'll be fun. This week on sports, the NFL attendance has been declining after the entire national anthem um, controversy just because there's many people who support it, don't support it. Definitely unusual for an NFL game. Yeah. The stadium's usually sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, Fox News wrote an article about uh, saying that how the Washington Redskins played on Thanksgiving was racist. So uh, people found that a bit controversial that Washington Redskins played on Thanksgiving. I think uh, most of you could put it together. You hear about the new Grammy nominees? Heck yeah! My girl Lauren's finally up for something! So the nominees are out, you can go look them up. Um, I find some of them kind of weird. The big thing about it this year was that it was the first time in like, since 1999, that there's only been, uh, there's been no white male nominees. Yeah, there's been skeletons that wash up on boats in Japan. And so it's on the west coast, so like just like over time, and so like recently there's been eight skeletons, and they haven't been like identified, obviously, but like it's kind of they're like, suspected to be North Korean skeletons. Yes, which is kind of whack. So lastly, Bellevue West uh, Journalism Department is offering a fundraiser at Panera on Thursday, November 30th, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you come in and uh, bring this uh, flyer in to the cashier when you place your order. We'll get some of the proceeds. Yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching this week's World News. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. We'll catch you in another couple weeks. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs>